Hi, welcome. Today we're gonna to be doing a full back massage with some myofascial release. And I'm gonna be working on one of our newest models, Emmy. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive right in. This video has been brought to you by Cacao Bliss. So with um, this kind of work, you can use no oil or a little oil. And I'm gonna go ahead and just skip the oil for now. So always when I'm working on a new person, I'm very conscious of just working slowly. Um, this kind of work can make some people feel a little bit impatient just because it's really different than like your typical massage. So right now I'm just letting Emmy get a little more used to my touch. And always when I'm doing this kind of work, I wanna make sure that I feel nice and comfortable and stable. And um, doing this kind of work. So you're working the connective tissue It doesn't look like a whole lot, but it can be really healing, especially for certain issues. Not right back. And so I'm using the whole palm of my hands to just stretch and work my way down on top of the rhomboids and traps. It's a really unique way to work, so I'm not really trying to go into the muscle tissue. It's more about stretching out that connective tissue. And it's really nice um, to do this without oil because it's you get a nice grab onto that um, connective tissue. You can really stretch everything out. I really like to work on top of the scapula as well. So <clears throat> as you can see, there's actually some redness in here, which is a really good sign. So blood flow's increasing, it's moving um, into that connective tissue more. And I'm just finding different angles like I can work the connective tissue as well. So I'm working on top of these rotator cuff muscles and just letting all of that connective tissue stretch out. And this probably looks pretty different than, you know, your typical massage. It's a very different approach. Really focusing on that area above the infraspinatus. So really just making sure that I get a nice firm hold and there's just like a micro, micro movement in my hand. And I never try to do fascial work with like an inward stroke, it's just a lot harder. So I'm always making sure that I'm moving away from my own body and that I feel as comfortable as possible. I have clients who love this kind of work and other clients who just get kind of impatient and they wanna feel the pain, so to speak, which, hey, I mean, everybody deserves to get what they want. But deep tissue isn't always the best approach or the most effective. I 
and I can, there's no really wrong angle to work the connective tissue. So I'm just trying to um, have some variety. And it can also be healing um, to change position of the arms a little bit. So if I, my goal is to open up these shoulders a little bit more, I can just change the angle of the rotator cuff and then I can get an even more interesting angle on that connective tissue. And I can wrap around to the teres major and minor kind of, I'm not working really the muscle tissue, just the connective tissue. And the one thing that you do need to be a little bit careful of, this can feel a little bit like a rug burn if you are not paying attention. So it's just definitely like very subtle work. And sometimes I like to anchor myself with my opposite hand. And I like to anchor the skin as well, just depending on how well everything's responding. Usually that connective tissue gets especially sticky in the upper back. So I like to work without oil, but as I work my way into the lat area in the low back, I'm gonna use just a little bit, but continue with that intention of working on the fascial tissue. And got some really beautiful redness right there. So nice, fresh blood. And I'm gonna start working my way down on top of the lats. And I might have gotten just a touch bit more oil than I needed, but I can make it work. So just finding that angle to stand where I can get a really nice hold on the skin, so to speak. And depending on you know, my client's tolerance, um, if they, some people really dislike that dry work, that feeling of not having any oil, um, you can still, still do really nice fascial work with oil. It might be a little bit more subtle. I'm just being a little bit careful here with these floating ribs that I'm not pressing down too much. Really staying focused on just that most superficial layer of tissue. So this is challenging in a different way, like deep tissue requires more physical effort, but this is just more subtle work. So it does require a good bit of concentration if you're doing it effectively. It's not hard, but you definitely need to be present. And there's a lot of connective tissue around the sacrum. So you don't have to be quite as delicate as when you're working on top of the ribs. And I also don't use quite as much oil usually. And really just making sure that my um, hand is sticking to Emmy's skin. That's kind of a feeling you want to get. There's some really nice color right there to let me know that 
get some really nice blood flow. And I'm gonna do this opposite side. And basically like a little trick that I have for doing this kind of work is you wanna make sure that your body's facing the direction that you're doing this kind of work in. Because if you're angled in a weird way, you're not gonna be able to work as effectively. And again, just being a little bit careful as I work my way over this intercostal area and um, especially on a smaller framed person you just gotta be one of my favorite areas to do this kind of work on is the around the sacrum it just feels like this area responds so well to this kind of work. I'm really just getting a nice hold on this, on Emmy's skin. I'm kind of indirectly, um, working on a little bit of muscle tissue, but it's not really the intention or focus right now. And I definitely recommend working a little bit slower. You don't have to be quite as, um, you know, focused. Like you can still do fascial work and work a little bit quicker. And I have just enough oil on my hands to do a little bit of uh, work on this muscle tissue. So I'm just going to do a little bit of work on the traps and the erector spinae, I'm just working my way down. And especially because I'm doing drier work, like I'm just kind of gliding my hands up. I'm not trying to put really any pressure, but I'm trying to keep contact with my client. The one exception is when I get up top towards the, around the scapula, I might use the heel of my hand and the edges of my hand to get in there a little bit. One little um, myofascial technique that I use in most of my massages, and people don't even know what I'm doing really, is just this very simple this connective tissue along the spine can get really sticky. So you can use one hand or you can just kind of stack the hands to make it a little easier. And also like, if you're a therapist, don't be afraid of your client's body like moving with your movements. Like it, it's not a bad thing. And you can do this a little bit quicker if you want. I'm just kind of finding a pace that feels good for me. And just spending a little bit of extra time on the upper back, along the spine. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, just think a few of our patrons before I forget. I'd like to thank Don Polone. Matt Webb and Christopher Napolitino. I hope I got your names right. Thank you so much for your support. 
And that is it for today, guys. Thank you for joining us today, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, you should check out our Patreon page where you'll find some exclusive content. I look forward to seeing you there. This video has been brought to you by Cacao Bliss, a decadent blend of 10 organic superfoods, including raw, ceremonial-grade cacao. Satisfy your chocolate cravings with a burst of antioxidants and other nutrients. Also available in Cacao Bliss Bites that you can easily enjoy while you're on the go. If you enjoy these videos, please join us at PsycheTruthPatrons.com for dozens of exclusive videos and premium programs. We have over a thousand videos you won't find on YouTube, such as modeling and fashion hauls, exclusive massage videos, ASMR, behind the scenes, bloopers, and much more. It's a great way to help us keep the cameras rolling so we can continue making the content you love. Patrons will get two to three new exclusive videos each week, so I hope you'll consider joining our Patreon family today. Just visit PsycheTruthPatrons.com.